Hello! Welcome to Earth and Life Science Alternative Delivery Mode Module on Origin and Structure of the Earth. After going through this module, you are expected to Number one is to determine the four subsystems of the Earth. Second is to describe the characteristics of each subsystem. Third one is to trace the flow of matter and energy in the Earth's subsystem. And last but not the least is to express one's internalized role as a steward of the four subsystems concerning the flow of matter and energy. And the learning competency covered in this module is to explain that the Earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have first this activity number one. So in this activity, I will read a statement. So all you have to do is to list down the terms that are used in the statement that reflects to what made up the earth and categorize them based on the following. So we have here, um, the first column is for air, the second column is for water, the third column is for land, and the fourth column is with life or things with life. So this is for our activity number one. So imagine you are walking along a rocky coast as a storm blows in from the sea. The wind whips the ocean into white cups and the waves crash into the shore. Before you have time to escape, blowing spray has soaked your clothes. A hard rain begins as you scramble over the rocks to your car. During the adventure, you have observed the spears of the earth. So again, in this activity, you are going to list the words that reflect to air, water, land, and with life. So here are the four subsystems of the earth. So let us have the atmosphere, biosphere, geosphere, and the hydrosphere. So let us discuss it one by one. So before discussing the four subsystems, let us have this quotation. So according to John Muir, so when one tugs at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. So what does it mean? So this quotation or this quote basically states that nothing in this universe is by itself and everything has some connections. In a more simple term, it means that as a human, you are never alone and you have family and friends somewhere in the world. And just like the quotation of John Muir, our four subsystems or Earth's subsystem are interconnected or interrelated with each other. So let's proceed to our first subsystem. So let us first have atmosphere. So in this slide, atmosphere is said to be the thin, life-giving gaseous envelope of the Earth. Its composition is divided into two, which are the major components, which is composed of nitrogen and oxygen gases, and invariable components, which are water vapor and aerosol. So in atmosphere, it is the gaseous layer above the Earth's surface, primarily composed of different gases, such as nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor, and aerosols. So in our next slide, I have here a pie graph showing the composition of atmosphere. So primarily, atmosphere is composed of 
nitrogen, and 21% oxygen. So, other gases like argon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, ozone, and other inert gases made the remaining 1%. So, the atmosphere supports life because animals and oxygen and plants need both carbon dioxide and oxygen. In addition, the atmosphere supports life indirectly by regulating climate. Air acts as both a blanket and a filter, retaining heat at night and shielding from direct solar radiation during the day. So our second system or subsystem of the Earth is the biosphere. So biosphere is the zone of the Earth where all forms of life exist. So that is why it is called biosphere. So when we say bio, it means life. So biosphere serves as the ecosystem of all living and non-living organism. So next, it is a zone of earth where all forms life exist in the sea, on land, and in water. It is sometimes called as large ecosystem. So this is the zone that life inhabits and it is a very thin layer of earth's surface. The third subsystem is the geosphere. So when we say geo, it means ground or land. So in geosphere, it is the solid part of the earth that consists the entire planet from the center of the core to the outer crust. So this includes core, mantle, and crust of the earth. So next, it is a solid region which comprises not only the solid visible layer but extends to the center of the earth. So again, what are the layers of the earth? So we have the crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. So our last subsystem of the earth is the hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is the water part of the earth that includes oceans and glaciers. So Earth is called blue planet or blue marble because of its water component. So water in Earth is unique because it naturally exists in three phases. So the hydrosphere makes up 71% of the Earth's surface and most of it is salt water found in the ocean. So the water part of the earth which circulates among oceans, continents, glaciers, and atmosphere. So oceans cover 71% of the earth and contains 97.5 of its water to be exact. And those are the four subsystems or four components of the earth. So again, we have the biosphere, hydrosphere, geosphere, and atmosphere. So that ends our discussion for today.